Well, you know, dibrafenib and trametinib were the first BRAF-MEC combination that were approved for metastatic disease with significant prolongation of survival compared to either dibrafenib alone or vemurafenib alone. And uh, interestingly, vemurafenib was the first BRAF inhibitor approved for melanoma for metastatic disease, but dibrafenib, trametinib, the first combination. Then came vemurafenib, cobametinib, and more recently, encorafenib, binametinib. All three excellent regimens, high response rates, excellent median survivals, and four year survivals that are also very good. But the Combi AD trial was the first attempt to use one of these targeted combinations as adjuvant therapy. And this was a very well conducted study of over 900 patients. It was a very positive study because it was a placebo controlled study, mostly done in Europe, where at the time there was no approved adjuvant therapy. And the results of that trial showed that with a hazard ratio hovering around 0.5, there was a clear benefit in relapse free survival distant metastasis-free survival, which is a surrogate for overall survival, and then the preliminary overall survival data, which have not been updated recently, but which were presented, oh God, must be almost a uh, little over two years ago at 2017 ESMO, suggests that there's a clear benefit in overall survival. So by whatever parameter you want, this was a regimen that was clearly beneficial. That being said, it's also a regimen where 26% of the patients in that study had to stop therapy because of side effects. And while there were generally no irreversible side effects, uh, dibrafenib and trametinib can be a challenging regimen to administer as adjuvant therapy. Without doubt, though, it is clearly beneficial to patients with resected stage 3 melanoma, no question.